Meg here. Welcome to the second part of the solar system. Let's get started. Mars is the fourth and the last rocky planet in the solar system. It is covered with red rocks and dust and that is why it appears red. Mars is also called the red planet. Hey, a Martian alien came to me and talked to me. Um, Mewdy, there's no life on Mars, so um, there are no Martian aliens. Here's an interesting fact that I know you didn't know. There's a mountain called Olympus Mons, which is found on Mars, and it is three times higher than Mount Everest. Mars's days and years are very similar to Earth compared to the other planets, but here's the difference. Mars is much colder than Earth, and its gravity is about one third of Earth's. That means a 60 kg person on Earth will only be 20 kgs on Mars. Yay! I'm in Mars to fat on Mars anymore! But Unfortunately, you will never be going to Mars and you are not going to be slim because I'm a panda. Well, yeah, fun is a fact. Okay guys, since Mars is very small, we are going to be using Play-Doh and we are going to color it or paint it red. First, I am going to make this into a ball. Next, I am going to paint it red. Have you ever tried painting Play-Doh before? Well, I haven't. Here it is. Jupiter is a gas giant and it is the largest planet in the solar system. Its surface is made of hydrogen gas but inside it has a thick rocky core even though it's a gas giant. Jupiter's surface is very violent because it has so many big, very mighty hurricane like storms, winds and lightning and thunder. for over hundreds of years. Jupiter has a bunch of moons, 73 precisely. Ah, uh, can you name them? Muni, if you want me to name all the moons of Jupiter, you better watch our Sun, Moon and Earth video. Romans heard that Jupiter was the king of the sky. Now let's paint Jupiter. I have three shades of grey. Saturn is famous for its beautiful rings. Not rings like these, but rings around the planet. Saturn is the second largest planet next to Jupiter. And it is made up of hydrogen and helium. Saturn is the only planet that is less dense than water. That means it can float. Well, you need a really big ocean if only you can find one. And you have to first convince Saturn to float on it. Saturn's rings are made up of mostly ice crystals, dust and rocks. These small crystals can vary in size from small as I told you to as big as rocks as big as, as big as rocks as big as a school bus. The rings are located around Saturn's equator. One day on Saturn is around 11 hours which is much shorter than Earth but the year is around 10,000 days. That would make a long school year. Okay guys, now we're gonna start painting Saturn. Okay guys, here's Saturn in progress. Okay guys, Saturn's almost done. Okay guys, we're done with Saturn. Here's the ring, here's the ring for 
scissors. Now that the ring is cut, let's paint it. And to hold Saturn's ring in place, we have used some pins. Next comes Uranus. Although its surface is made up of gas, its interior is made up of frozen materials. So you can call it the frozen giant. As a result, Uranus's atmosphere is the coldest in the whole solar system. Okay guys, we're gonna start painting. Do you know why Uranus is blue in color? This is because of a gas called methane in its atmosphere. Here's a fun fact about Uranus guys, it rotates on its side. While all the other planets spin like a top, Uranus spins like a marble. Guys, can you guess how many planets in the solar system have rings? If you guess two, you're right. Did you know that Saturn is not the only planet that has rings? Uranus has rings too, but they're very thin and dark, so they're very hard to see. So we're gonna skip making the rings for Uranus in this model. Sorry Uranus. And here's Uranus. Next is Neptune, the eighth farthest and last planet in the solar system. Neptune is blue which suits it very well because it is named after the Roman god of the sea. And just like Uranus, Neptune is also an ice giant. Double monster! Okay guys, now that we've painted all the planets, we have to figure out how to paint or make the black sky. To make the deep black space, we're using this carton and some black chocolate. Let's stick the flat chart paper inside the carton. Wow, that looks wonderful. Now we're going to hang the planets inside. Okay guys, we finished our solar system model. Bye, see you for our next video.